Sorry. <laughs> Explain what you were telling him about his forearm when he was throwing a hook and uppercut. Oh, it's a difference, like throwing a arm punch and exactly the, the correct punch to throw. Uh -huh. When you throw arm punches, you're actually throwing it. It's taking away from your power. So when you tighten up your forearm, all you do is just turn it. Boom. And you actually hit harder than you would, and you're more relaxed when you do hit it like that. Yeah. How important is the forearm in punching power? It's extremely important because you're not wasting any energy. Um, if you're constantly arm punching, you're going to waste a lot of energy. Full arm punches are short and they're real hard. Mm -hmm. So the impact from a short punch versus an arm punch is going to be more effective. It's going to be more powerful. And your energy level will stay exactly where it is. A lot of people burn out only because they're punching so, so, so much. They're punching properly, pretty much. You're like turning your body. You need to be turned at. You know, um, a lot of people just throw the hook like this. The hook is not to be thrown like that. It's to just turn. Boom. And you pivot your foot right here. And there's all four arms. And that's where you're getting that power from. I don't know if you watched the um, Jer Her Erk Lady Londa um, contest yes. at the end of the, the 12th round. All he did was a simple uppercut and a hook. It didn't look powerful at all. But he tightened his forearm up and it took him out. Put him down. So, as far as power punch is concerned, how important is the forearm? It's extremely important because that's where you're getting your power from. From the forearm. From the forearm. Yeah, we have them do numerous forearm exercises before they leave. And we constantly emphasize that you got to use that forearm. You got to tighten that forearm up. Your punches got to be short because they'll be harder just with the forearm. So, it's extremely important. With the fist, do you prefer the fist closed the whole time or closed right before an impact? I prefer the fist to be closed all the time. Sometimes you may throw a punch or somebody counter you and you're not really ready for the counter so you want to react. And your reaction may be with your hands open and you can easily break your hand or break a finger or something. So as long as you, your hands are constantly balled up, yeah, you, you, you become less prone to getting an injury. 